You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. What's up, brownies? So I'm here to talk about this really weird story that's circulating all around social media about this school district in Oklahoma called Deer Creek that allowed the students to have a fundraiser to earn money uh, by licking peanut butter off of the toes of the donors. And apparently they didn't see anything wrong with this. So I just found this to be bizarre. And if you haven't heard about the story, I'm gonna play this clip really quickly and then I'll come back with some other disturbing things that I found out that went on with this same school system. This video shows Deer Creek High School students licking toes at a fundraising event Thursday. We have blurred their faces to hide their identity. It was surprising. I didn't think they were gonna, they were gonna do all that. I was just shocked. I didn't really have like a feeling. I was like kind of disgusted, but then like kind of glad I wasn't over there. He is devouring them. Whatever she told me yesterday that was happening, I had to ask her like, "Wait, what?" Peanut butter off of toes. What? The Deer Creek School District confirmed the video with Fox 25, saying the students volunteered in challenges to help raise money during their philanthropy week. I am all for fundraising and all for really fun and silly things, but that right there just seemed a little excessive. Oh my! Deer Creek Schools says every student who participated signed up for the games they played ahead of time and that no faculty or staff were involved during the assembly. They note that the fundraising week helped raise more than $152,000. It's really great that they raised a lot of money. I feel like maybe they could have done a little bit more accountability and ownership in that statement for, hey, you know, maybe we didn't fully think this thing through here. So I decided to do some further research and see what else was going on in the Deer Creek School District. One of the things that I found was there was once this situation where a local private school was closed for the day. So kids decided as a prank to just saunter right on into Deer Creek creek schools and pretend to be students and they were there for like half the day before somebody realized hey you don't belong here you're not in my class and you need to leave now i'm glad that they weren't there to harm anybody like lean on me because if so they should have put chains on the doors like joe clark you know joe clark didn't play that baby they used to call me crazy joe well now they can call me Batman. but speaking of faculty being crazy what was up with this teacher that uh decided to give sleep gummies to her special education class you never give kids medicine and that that's not prescribed to them because you don't know how they're going to react to it. There was also recently a 23-year-old teacher that was having an inappropriate relationship and sending photos to one of her 15-year-old students. She got arrested for that, and that's just the women. Let me tell you about some of the men that they hire. There was a baseball coach that had his players running drills that required them to scrape their knuckles across hot asphalt, leaving some of them with second-degree burns. They had to make him step down. Then there was another coach that used to, I think, coach basketball that got caught up soliciting a teenager for services and trying to pay the young girl like $150 for him. So he got arrested. Then there was a bus driver who had a sketchy pass and ended up being caught with like tons of child videos and photographs on his home computer. So you think with all of that going on in the school system that they would be worried about themselves and not a neighboring school, but they seem to have had time to worry about what was going on in Edmond, Oklahoma, where they were fighting the school system over which books were allowed in the school and which ones had to be banned as per the state. And so the two books that were in question were books that had subject matter about children surviving being tampered with. You know, you got to be careful with your words. Well, I thought that that was odd that those are the books that you're willing to fight over to the point of possibly losing your accreditation. That wasn't even in Deer Creek. 
That was another school system. Deer Creek just decided to stand with them and lend their support. Well, here's my question. How about supporting your students? Because you didn't think that it was important to listen to your students when they asked that kids who passed away before graduation be remembered or memorialized during graduation ceremony. So they just did a walkout. And I thought that it was weird that you couldn't see the sentiment in something like this kid who passed away in a car accident before he got to graduate so they're walking out but y'all all over in Edmonds business that's what y'all mad about all this other stuff that's going on in the school and that's what y'all are mad about talk about priorities being messed up so I just wanted to bring light to this issue that was going on in this one school district and hopefully someone locally will look further into the whole Deer Creek uh public school system but I really want you all to share this video with as many people as possible because it is imperative that you amplify the voices of the truth tellers and support them so that we can continue to put out stories like this. At any rate, I want you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on other social media, and stay tuned because I have more content to come. Fall away, so you